Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Naila and I'm the second grade of Madrasah Mu'alimat Muhammadiyah Yogyakarta. So now I want to ask you guys. Um, have you ever asked yourself like, can I help save the earth? Yes, the answer is yes. Of course you can help. By reducing food waste, reducing waste, polluting the sea, polluting the environment, and not doing things that damage natural ecosystem. So basically, scientists have been warning everyone to save the world before the big climate change, but no one is listening. Okay. So I read several articles that mention that deleting non-essential email data um, can reduce 1,725 gigabytes of mobile data and reduce carbon on your computer from unnecessary notification. And Honestly, I'm not sure about this method, but actually, even if it doesn't help to save the earth, there's no harm in doing it, because our email inbox is not full at all. Yeah. Um, so don't forget to save water, reduce the use of paper and plastic, reduce the use of air conditioning, and turn off electricity when not in use. To generate this electricity, fossil fuel power plants burn carbon fuels such as coal, oil, or gas. But do not panic. Keep an open mind and help out as much as you can, both physically and spiritually. But most uh, of the resources will disappear. The environment will be highly polluted, the air will become dangerous and much more. And if we take big action, this is just myth. There are still three years left to improve the earth, love nature, and make the earth safe. Not for ourselves, but for others and for our loved one and for a good future. So let's make small changes for ourselves and the earth, for our future and for the good future of the earth. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, let me introduce myself first. My name is Kaila Nizari. You can call me Kaila. I'm 14 years old and I'm originally from Yogyakarta. So, in this video, I will talk about British accent. As you know it, English have three accents. There is American accent, British accent, and Australian accent. In this video, I will talk about one of the accent, there is British accent. So, British accent is one of English accent that used in England or United Kingdom. British accent have a different pronunciation with American accent. From the example is like a Harry Potter movie, you know Tom Holland, right? Uh, he is using a British accent. So here, I will give you some examples. I like American football and I can respect the athleticism and the strategic. So, that's all about the British accent. I hope you liked this video and I hope this video can educate you. I'm sorry if I had many mistakes and thank you so much for your attention. I hope you see you again. Let me introduce myself. My name is Nadine Ratani Desa. You can call me Atta and I'm 13 years old. Today I will talk about some idols who inspire me to learn English. I have some examples. They are Felix and Bang Chan from Stray Kids, RM from BTS, Jake and Jay from Inhypen, Joshua and Fernand from Seventeen, and last, Eric and Kevin from The Boys. They speak English very clearly. The pronunciation and the public speaking it's make me it's really make me want to learn English more further. Here are some clips of them speaking in English. Just practicing, chilling, um, communicating with our fans. Yeah. And we're kind of getting ready for our comeback. Yeah. I mean you're telling us briefly that it's a pretty intense comeback. Once lived a happy little Aussie boy named Jake. But one day, he felt a spark in his heart which grew into a dream. And from then, his hard and lonely journey to Ireland began. But once he walked through the gates of Ireland, his life changed. He met friends and got a step closer to his dream. Some of them are using an Aussie accent. Uh, it can be my motivation too. 
to learn other accents besides American. Actually, learning English can be can be from anywhere. Anywhere. It can be from new movies, music, a YouTube video maybe, memes, uh, or maybe we can we can join an on online English club. It, if I happen to like K-pop, so I like to communicate with international fans using English. Sometimes I also understand what they are talking about. I also learn English by myself, not from my parents. So I just enjoy it. Maybe it's all for me. Sorry for any mistakes. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.